and, and so at some point in time, Half Yard approached you about being in this project. When, when and how did that happen? That was in March 2009 is when I became active involved. And um, well, when you say active involved, what do you mean? That's when I did my, my test. Did they? And did somebody? Did somebody in particular come to you? Yes, um, a group of people came to me. Friends, friends, professionals I, from going out in the. Uh, no, it was Half Yard, mm -hmm. and I had asked, you met anybody there? Before? I had no idea what the show was, and at that time they weren't sharing it. It was just that we were interested in you. We see you always look very stylish, mm -hmm. and you're out on the charity scene, and you're well known in D.C. So we'd like to see how you are in front of the camera, and we may or may. You know, like you for a possibility. And, what, and I've met you many times at Wolf Trap at the Wolf Trap Ball. I've around. never been to the Wolf Trap Ball. Oh, I thought you said you saw no, me there. No, I've never. You know, it's interesting too, oh. and I think it's a and I think it's a point worth discussing, because because. I never met you before this. I, that's what I thought. And I'm out and about a lot. Yeah. And, 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 and in, a, a, in another hat, I write a column for a website called New York Social Diary. Right. Where I'm supposedly writing about the power players and the scene and what's really going on in right. D.C. and all of that. I don't take it too seriously, but it's fun. But I've never seen you at anything. Well, you I mentioned you, you thought you would see me at the Wolf Trap Ball the other day when we ran into each other. What ball had we seen each other at? Do you I, think? Because you said you remembered me from a ball. Was it the Wolf Trap no, Ball? No, I don't think I did. It, was there a Molly Holt? No, was my nickname has always been Missy through life. Missy. Okay, and Missy. When, and I had it wrong. Missy Holt. Right. But back when I was in school, there wasn't any Mikkels. The name became popular from Dr. Medicine. But that was your birth name? Yes, Mikkel Holt is my Who are you named after? Uh, a little bit of Michelle and Michael. Um, my so mom it wasn't it wasn't a, it wasn't a grandmother or no it was an original it's it my original. mom's and my mom gets very frustrated when people can't get my name right it's my who are you named but, after uh, a little bit of Michelle and Michael um, my so mom it wasn't it wasn't a, it wasn't a grandmother or no it was an original it's it my original. mom's and my mom gets very frustrated when people can't get my name right <laughs> look honestly we're as far as the White House uh, part of our life is we're, we're putting all that in the past we've closed that chapter and. We're moving forward. I think everybody in Washington is moving forward from that. This is a great party. And, uh, you know, we're at Fahrenheit. Now we're hot here. chocolate. Now we're here at the Ritz Carlton enjoying the great hot chocolate. Hot and chocolate. A, and a nice summer of law. All right, so did they address at all the situation with the White House that started all of this in the beginning? You know, I have to say they smiled for an hour straight. They kept those smiles on to a point where almost had to hurt at the end of this whole thing. So you felt like this was uh, a little scripted today, didn't you? Boy, it really seemed that way. It really seemed like they almost practice how they are going to be when they go out there. Um, they walk in hand in hand, they greet everyone, kiss on the cheek. It seems like they really know what they are doing and it really seems like they're enjoying this fame. It was the Obama's second state dinner for the president and first lady of Mexico. Cheers. Salud. Accused party crashers Tarek and Mikhail Salahi told NBC News it was just an unbelievable coincidence that they were so close to the White House. They were accompanied by a camera crew from Inside Edition and told authorities they were on their way to a nearby restaurant for a dinner party with friends. You were stopped. The limo was stopped outside. You ran a red light. Secret Service pulled you guys over. It's the same night. You're saying it's a coincidence. It's hard to imagine it's such a coincidence. You had a camera crew with you from Inside Edition. Right. Um, can you imagine how people would be suspicious that this could be a publicity stunt? Yeah. You yeah. know, Washington, D.C. is a small city, as you know. You know, anywhere to get to any nice restaurant in Washington, you really got to drive either by the White House or, or on Constitution Avenue or, or up 17th and I. That's where all the nice restaurants are. So to get around D.C., you know, we're blocks away. Yes, the restaurant's blocks away, but really all the nice restaurants are blocks away from the White House. Right. So, you know, it's a small city. The illegal turn into the restricted area yeah. by the White House is a little that bit was, of a red flag. That was poor information. That's that, the yeah, media. that's not true. And there see, was that's no illegal what's turn. happened with yeah. this entire uh, 
the thing that's happened with yeah, us. Yeah. There was another uh, gentleman that night that was an alleged crasher. I don't even know if you could tell us his name. Do you know his name? I don't know his name, but and, let me and, ask you. Know, and there was a couple the week before, but for some reason, yeah. we've become the heart focus of the media. Well, let and me ask you And most of the this. information, Lynn, before you interrupt, is it hasn't been reported well. So hear me out. If we're you, hearing you yeah, out. That's why it we're glad that, you're, that well. you're speaking out on it. Um, for you guys, you're now known by many people as the White House party crashers. And rather than like the that. Salahis. Yeah. So has that summed up what your life has been like the past six months? I think it's unfair for the media to say alleged is the proper term. And uh, to say crashers, we're not crashers. We said our name. We gave our IDs. We went to the event. We were announced. If at any time someone had asked us to leave, we would have gladly leave, yeah. left. We don't want to go through this type of thing. No one should have to go through this. The older couple didn't the week before. They attended a breakfast. And the gentleman that you can't even mention his name, he hasn't been put through this. No question. It's been, it's been an interesting year. You know, one thing that most people don't know about really the beginning hour of all of this uh, really was through the America's Polo Cup. And why that's so important, uh, it, it's going to be on the TV show. It's going to be on the Real Housewives of D.C. Um, a very important piece to the puzzle will be highlighted in that first episode. So that will be the beginning hour of the Salahis being vindicated in many ways. And, uh, and something else that's in the works that uh, is, is, uh, is a book. It's going to shed light on the facts uh, based on evidence and based on the truth. Uh, it was the second date yeah, yeah. to Paris. He flew me to dinner and we came back. It was a wow. It was yeah. definitely a wow. And then I had to get to my job the next day. So our dinner date was in going to Paris and coming right back. There were a thousand guests at the wedding, and <laughs> in every girl's life, there's drama. Well, for me, I've known Michaela for 15 years. We, we, we did have a friendship. I did have a, what I felt was a trusting, loyal friendship. And I feel that, like many other cases, they have misrepresented themselves. They make things up as they go along. They live a phony, fake Bonnie and Clyde life and I'm frankly just tired of living in a city that I'm so proud of that I work so hard in and when you spend as much time trying to raise money for charities as we do as individuals and you see people running wild saying it's for a charity and then it goes in your pocket and I mean it's just not Are you accusing her point. of that? Oh absolutely I'm not okay. the only one the Washington yeah. Post has like 15 okay. articles okay. about it. That's so, a serious allegation. It is. I know it is. It's it's serious on allegation. <laughs> serious <laughs> allegation. And you just laugh it all up all the time and then you're like you know, selling you're, your book and it's just so like. you're so angry and jealous. Uh, you I'm not jealous you know what, of you if you let me respond you would never want to go through what I've been through. You take yourself in that position. Let me finish. She you, said it best. The media has made this person, sure. right? Right. And then all your and civil lawsuits that you had for the last five years. I don't know. Sound like you're with her. I don't know. You don't want to own your own stuff. Okay. Erwin Gomez did her makeup the night of the state dinner. Erwin, you've actually known, as I understand it, you've known her for 15 years. Uh, yeah, that's correct. But yet, they were supposedly invited according to the couple, yet she called you frantically, as I understand it, on Monday, hoping for an appointment. You would think she would have planned this a little bit further in advance. I mean, I was, I was really, I mean, first I was shocked that she even called, called me because of, um, we have a outstanding balance. Um, 
when I because she hired me to do her wedding and and when she called and she, I wanted to be sure that we locked the transaction um, mm -hmm. before she leaves the salon. And because you were um, worried that she, that she wasn't going to pay you, and, and you're correct. saying she still hasn't paid you for her wedding makeup. You are co completely correct. at the beginning of the interview that Mikel had a major announcement to make exclusively here on Fox and Friends and we're going to do that right now. It has to do with your health. One of the other controversies surrounding you is that some of the other housewives on the show say you're too thin. Yes. What would you like to make the announcement about today? You know, I am, uh, I don't deal with anorexic. I'm not an anorexic and um, I've never had an eating disorder. But one thing I have kept a secret is for 17. This is very emotional for Mikel. I'm sorry. Can I She's jump in? Okay. Yes. For 17 years, Mikkel has suffered from multiple sclerosis. And when I watch The Real Housewives of D.C. and I see this storyline of them picking on her, frankly, you know, there's always got to be somebody in those casts that they pick on, and it happens to be Mikkel. Oh, she's anorexic. We have to have an intervention. It keeps the storyline flowing, but unfortunately, it's not true. Just like it wasn't true that they're the gate crashers. She has multiple sclerosis. So I can talk now. Sorry, Gretchen. I had That's to get okay. that. This is the first time I've said it publicly. You know, my own family, my cousins, um, a lot of the people dearest to me, my best friend just found out. So it's something that I kept personal. Uh, and I think a lot of people do with chronic illnesses or, you know, any type of disease, you know, whether it's heart or whatever you deal with, you know, breast cancer. So for me, I kept it personal because I never wanted to be judged, never wanted to have pity, and um, I certainly wanted to hold on to my job. So, and I think, you know, we're making strides in America every year, but maybe at this time with the White House and everything that took place, maybe all this happened for a reason and I can do something good to help someone else. And, and you know, that, yeah. one thing that, you know, Mikkel, you know, I'm very proud of Mikkel's, uh, you know, uh, coming out and talking about this, but instead of running and keeping your head in the sand, you know, Stay out there, live a life, do what. Right, because you, you can have, have a, job. a great life. You can have a great life. Well, yeah, people many people, people will be very shocked to find yeah. that out today, yeah. Mikhail. Yeah. We hope that your health uh, continues in the and right direction. Thank you. And we appreciate you uh, telling your story thank on you. Fox That's and Friends today, Mikhail and Tarek and Diane Diamond. Uh, My pleasure. On the book. Thank you, Cirque du Salahi. I'm the great pretender.